Hey guys, how you doing? My name is TJ, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing coding boot camps and the five points you should consider when deciding if a coding boot camp is right for you. Just to give you a quick background on me, I actually attended a coding boot camp after I taught myself how to code and I was building basic web apps on my own. After that, I also actually tutored coding boot camp students while they were going through the coding boot camps. So I definitely have the, the experience and background to be, able to, to be able to speak to a lot of these issues. Anyways, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and like this video just to help me continue making content like this for you. Now, real quick, what is a coding boot camp and how does it work? A coding boot camp is a short term intensive program that you attend where you learn how to code. Typically, a full time program is about three months and a part time program is about six months long. In the boot camp, you would typically have one or two teachers and your teachers might do a lecture or demo a few times a week. Outside of that, you are mostly working on a curriculum of practice problems and projects that they give you with the teachers there to be able to answer any questions that you have along the way. Now, most people turn to a coding boot camp as an alternative to a four year computer science degree or because they don't know a software engineer that can help them learn how to code. With that said, quick plug, I teach people how to code at Roots Technology, which is a self-paced online coding and career prep program. Now in that program, not only do I help you learn how to code, but I also help you with the job search and interview prep by helping you fix your resume, by helping you write a cover letter template, and also helping you do mock interviews. To learn more about Roots Technology, then just check out our website below at rootstechnology.info. Now, when it comes to coding boot camps, here are the five points that you should consider when doing your research. Point number one, coding boot camps are expensive. The average cost of a coding boot camp is $15,000 and they range in cost from $7,000 up to $21,000. Now, the thing is, most people are learning how to code so that they can go from a lower paying job to a higher paying job. So most people don't really have $15,000 just lying around. Now, coding boot camps try to account for that by providing payment plans, student loans, and sometimes even scholarships based on your background and financial situation. Just so you know, the main reason that coding boot camps are so expensive is because they have a lot of overhead costs from the office that they rent to furnishing that office, to paying all of the staff, to the marketing budget. All of that goes into the overhead costs that make them so expensive. So make sure that you are very considerate about the cost of the coding bootcamp and do what works best for your financial situation. And also, like I mentioned, some coding bootcamps offer scholarships based on your background and financial situation as well. So make sure to do your research when it comes to cost. Now, point number two to consider about coding boot camps: the short time span. The average full-time coding boot camp program is three months, and the average part-time program is about six months. Now, this can be a pro or a con based on your own situation. If you don't have any type of family obligations, financial issues, or health issues, then this might actually work for you. But if you have a full-time job, family obligations or health issues, etc. Make sure that you find a program that works best with your schedule and any type of free time or flexibility that you might need. So the main reason that the short time span is so important is because if you miss a day or two in a coding boot camp, you are pretty much playing catch up for the rest of the program, unless by some miracle <laughs> you put in a lot of work to really catch up. And the main reason why is because the short time frame of a coding bootcamp is already so intense that it takes a lot of effort just to keep up. So if you now miss a day or two because of family issues or health issues, you have now fallen behind and have to put a lot of extra effort in just to catch up. So yeah, make sure that you are very considerate of the time span and your schedule and find something that gives you the flexibility that you think that you'll need. Now, point number three, when it comes to considering a coding bootcamp, you need to be very mindful of the curriculum, the languages and frameworks that they are actually teaching you. 
make sure that you do your research and find a program that is teaching you the relevant technologies and tools for the job market or any type of industry that you are specifically interested in. When it comes to web development, I'll tell you right now, on the front end, find a program that's teaching React.js. On the back end, find a program that is either teaching Node.js or Python and Django. That's it. Anything else outside of that, I don't really recommend. Now, point number four about coding boot camps is the job placement rate. Coding boot camps post their employment rate, which is the number of their students that got jobs about six months after graduating from the boot camp. And these numbers tend to be kind of high sometimes, which can be very misleading. I say they can be misleading because a lot of boot camps tend to hire their own graduates as tutors or even teachers in the program. So you might actually find yourself in a program where one of the people teaching you just graduated a few months ago. Like I've seen that a lot actually. Also, a lot of coding bootcamp students end up getting jobs that aren't in tech or coding at all, or they just end up freelancing on their own. And even a lot of students end up going back to the job that they left just to make ends meet. And all of those count as being employed when it comes to those rates. But I will say that a few coding boot camps have pretty accurate numbers, but those boot camps tend to be highly selective and filter out students that they don't think are going to make it through the program by having a very hard application process. The boot camp I'm thinking about right now in my head has an acceptance rate of 5%. Also, None of these employment rate numbers that you get from coding boot camps have actually been audited by an independent party. So the numbers that you get are just boot camps telling you what they want to tell you. You don't really have a way to verify if those numbers are true or not. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. But definitely make sure that you ask questions about their job placement rates, their job or career assistance, career guidance, and just really, you know, Questions about if they if they help you with your resume, cover letter, mock interviews, if they have job fairs. Just make sure that you do a lot of digging when it comes to this aspect of, of the program, especially since you're paying so much. Now, point number five, the last but probably the most important point when it comes to your research on coding boot camps is the teacher quality or the quality of the teachers in the program. When it comes to doing research on coding boot camps and you are assessing teacher quality, make sure that your teacher or at least one of them has at least two years of full time work experience writing code at a company, not freelancing, writing code at a company. If they worked at a startup, one year of experience is, you know, it's OK. <laughs> Now, you probably don't want a teacher who just taught themselves how to code and the only job experience that they have is freelancing because one, you don't know how much actual work or code they did freelancing. And two, the quality of code from freelancers tends to be a bit lower compared to the quality of code that you get when you are working on the actual engineering team at a company. So that's it. Those are the five points that you should really consider when it comes to deciding if a coding bootcamp is right for you. And make sure that you stay tuned because I will actually be dropping a couple more videos for people that have decided to go to coding bootcamps and things that you can do to, to better prepare and give yourself a good chance to succeed in a bootcamp. And I'll also be, I'll also be dropping a video for bootcamp graduates that are still job searching and kind of need help in terms of advice as to how to job search after graduating from a coding bootcamp. So make sure that you subscribe and like this video and comment below if you have any questions and I do my best to continue helping you in your coding journey. Thank you.